Hi, I'm Rebecca Vrand, and I love my new Philips Electronic Access Deadbolt Lock. It's so smart. There's a lot of people I don't want inside my house, but when I do want them inside, it's really great to have this lock to let in whoever I want. You're going to want each of your kids to have their own code. So you see their comings and goings. And when you go on vacation, you might want someone to have the code and know when they come in and out of your house, just in case you have to send them a reminder to water your plants. And heaven forbid your house is messy. But in case you have the budget for a housekeeper, you're gonna want them to have their own lock code too. And now let me show you some of the features. Philips electronic access can be used on any door, but I use it on my front door. And each side of your deadbolt will have a different look for different purposes. This is what it looks from the outside with the keypad. It's a beautiful look for any door. When you order your Philips deadbolt lock, it'll arrive right to your door. I opened the box and it was packaged really well so it wouldn't get damaged during shipping with some foam at the top. I took it out of the cardboard box and this is what the box looked like from all angles. On each side of the box had really good information to see the features of the lock, which reminded me all the reasons why I wanted to put this lock on my door. And when I opened the box, this is how it was packaged. Then I laid everything out on this blue mat on my counter because other pieces were individually packaged within the package. Locks are very delicate, so you don't want any damage as it's traveling the miles to your home. I unwrap the items so now you can see further what was in the box. On the left is the interior round dial for inside your house. In the center is the square Phillips exterior part of the door lock. On the right are all the screws and the face plates you'll need. Below that is the locking mechanism. And on the left, it comes with batteries. I had removed my previous deadlock and I want to show you this opening. This circle, this hole, is a standard size for prefab doors on most all of the houses in the United States of America. They come pre-drilled. So almost any deadbolt you've had, this Phillips electric access deadbolt lock will fit. And with all the parts also comes a quick start guide and the owner's manual. They make the process really easy to install with a quick start guide and also their wonderful user manual. It's laid out really well, really easy to read. I love the installation. It comes with a packing list so you know you've got all the pieces you're supposed to. And then it shows the exploded views of how the lock is going to go in so you can understand the concept. And then the installation steps are extremely detailed, which is fabulous with all the measurements and it shows you how to install the latch and the strike and more details for every single step and these are all the things I laid out in order of how we're going to work. Now I had my own measuring tape and Phillips head screwdriver and then it came with the screws and the lock mechanism itself and here's a metal black plate for the interior of the lock and here is the other interior piece that's going to go on inside your house and that's the interior dial with the battery compartment and there is where it's going to hook up. There's the long post that's going to connect to the exterior of your door. Here are the two long screws that connect the outer with the inner part of the lock. And here's the exterior with the silver ring and the connectors for all of the computer hardwiring that's going to go with this soft malleable rubber piece that protects your lock from bad weather and the batteries. Here's an overview of everything you're going to need for the install. Now I'm going to double check. I'm going to prepare the door and I'm going to check the dimensions to make sure mine's standard. And sure enough, it is. It's two and an eighth inch. Now on this shot, I put the measuring tape upside down because I'm checking from the part of the door that's going into the hole, how far that hole is from the door. That two and an eighth inch circle starts at one and a quarter inch from the edge of my door. And then again, I'm going to measure to confirm that my thickness of my door is between one and three eighths inch to two inches. And mine is just under two inches. That's just fine. And if you're unsure of all this, the paper guide is great because it's going to verify that exactly what you want to see in your prefab door is exactly what it is. I'm touching with my finger and I can feel underneath that paper that is where my door is drilled. And if you don't have your door drilled, you can use that piece of paper to drill your door. Now your striking plate needs to be about one inch thick on the inside of it so that the lock can get into the other side of the door one inch thick. So I put on the strike plate here. It's a simple Phillips head screwdriver. It comes in black and I screw it in tightly. And after that's in, it's time to install the latch and strike. I put it right through the center. I double check to make sure it's flat and I check it's within the range of two and an eighth. And now I push the latch in and I'm going to screw it in with the two Phillips head screws they send you right with my 
my Phillips head screwdriver, it goes right in and it's flat, flat against the wood right there. And with a flat head screwdriver, I just switched mine around. I want to check that the lock will work and it'll flip freely and it does. Now that drive-in collar is optional. Many times it helps space between the front and back of your door, but in my case it was a little thinner so I had to take that out. Make sure your white electrical cord is feeding through the bottom of your lock. Pull the white cord all the way through and then place the black plate on your door with the white cord going through the bottom right part of it and then with the screws they give you, you're going to screw it into your door just like that. And then the white cord is going to fit right into the back here and it's going to be plugged in. You've got to make the connection right there. And as you flip it around, you're going to see two levers on each side of the door that are going to go up and down so it goes right into the sides of the black metal faceplate that's on the door and it'll click right in. Make sure it's sturdy. Double check it for tightness. Then all you have to do is screw in the top with the other two screws I give you with your Phillips head screwdriver right in the back of where the batteries are going to go and then just pop in your four batteries that come with your Phillips electronic access deadbolt lock and put the faceplate on. And with those batteries in, I'm double checking that the lock works great and I'm pressing the automatic lock button on the interior. I like that button. It locks by itself just by pressing that. What a nice clean look for the interior of your house. So with my lock installed, it's time to set it up. I wave my hand in front and the faceplate lights up. To install the app, you just go to your quick start guide and find the QR code and press that and the app will pop right up on your phone. And you press that again and you get your Philips Home Access. It'll download it right to your phone. And then you go to add device and then unsnap the back of the interior of your Philips lock and bring it over to your phone so you can turn that around and access that QR code, which is specific to your lock. It's going to tell me the model of my lock. It also gives you the master code and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So easy. And you press that and you press complete and that's my front door. So I wanted to let it know it's my front door and it was a successful upload. The first time you use it, it's going to generate you a specific passcode and that's important because it's on your phone with your access so you want to use that password it generates. The first passcode you're going to put in is your own for your own use. So I did that. On the quick start directions it's really easy to follow on how to do that. So I did. The Philips electronic access deadbolt lock will look great on any door. I'm proud that it's on my front door. I love all the features. And to close the door, wipe your palm over the surface of it and press any number one long hold and that will lock it and it'll tell you it's locked. So when you want to delete a guest code, you need to go into the system by pressing your code in. And once you verify, you're going to enter the X twice and the master code. So I'm pressing three. And this is the pin code for a guest I want to delete. Deletion, successful. Deletion is successful. And besides this video of how to install it, Philips has made a really beautiful animated install video that is so helpful. It's really great too. It's a little quicker to get through than the one you see here in my video. Click link below to get your Philips electronic access deadbolt lock to keep you safe. I'm Rebecca Brand. I hope you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to get notified of my next video, and let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's recipe is a recipe for security. <laughs> See you next time. If you like this video, here's some more over there with some really great recipes too, in case you're home alone and want to cook. <laughs>